everyone, this is Katie Colleen here. Welcome back, Colleen Clan, or if you're new, then come join the family. Today I'll be showing you how to make the New World Log Pose from One Piece. This will be for my Nami Dressrosa cosplay. Starting out with materials, I will be making the base of this log pose out of an EVA foam. I have this quarter inch thick EVA foam, and then I also have two millimeter thick craft foam sheets. Now for the little globes of the log pose, I have these glass orbs. I could not find any Christmas ornaments or other orbs anywhere. So these are from Etsy and I will put the Etsy listing linked in the description below if you would like to get these same ones. They're about an inch wide. I also will be using Warbla. Now, I think you could make this log pose just fine with foam, but I wanted to also add Warbler for some reinforcement, so that can be optional. So I'm gonna start by making the base of our log pose, just that big platform that all the orbs sit on. So I'll be cutting a circle out of my quarter inch thick EVA foam. I have long given up on trying to freehand perfect circles or trying to use a compass to make perfect circles. Now I just scour my house for things that are circular and trace them. So I use the bottom of a spray paint can and that is my circle for this log pose. I do recommend that you cut this out with a knife instead of scissors. My knife was nowhere to be found anywhere in the house. Now for this base, I just wanna make sure that I can fit all my orbs on it comfortably and also that is not too oversized for my wrist. So now I'm gonna do the same thing in the two millimeter EVA foam, cutting out that same circle. I'm just going to put my little glass orbs on top, kind of position them where I would like them on the log pose, and I'm just gonna trace out the base of all of these orbs. And then I'm going to cut that out. The idea with this is that the orbs can be a little bit embedded into the log pose base. I'll have this two millimeter craft foam kind of surrounding the base of all the orbs and hopefully that will make them a little bit more secure. Now I'm going to glue the two millimeter craft foam onto our quarter inch EVA foam base. Now I usually use a contact cement, but I went with E6000 glue this time, either is fine. And I will also be dremeling down our base because, wow, the cut on the edge of that was, was truly horrible. So I will be sanding it down so it looks much cleaner. I also decided to go in with a smaller drill bit and just chip away a little at the inside of where those orbs will be sitting just to kind of make them sit a bit more secure. So now I'll be covering our base in Warbla. So Warbla is a thermoplastic. So when you apply heat to Warbla, it becomes very malleable and bendable, very squishy. And then when it cools down, it becomes hard again. So I decided I wanted to cover my log pose in Warbla. And that is because I am a wheelchair user and I use my hands to walk. And I really felt that this log pose would probably have a few run-ins with my wheelchair push rims. Warbla does wonders for adding durability. It is also quite a bit more expensive than foam. So it's kind of up to you if you feel like it is worth the cost for that durability, or if you would rather just make your log pose out of foam. So here I am using my heat gun and heating up the Warbla and then I am just pressing it onto the base. And you can see how the warbler even takes the shapes of all of the little indents for the glass orbs. And with the warbler put over our log pose base, I now know how large our log pose base will actually be. And I can make the wrist piece to fit around it. Now I originally wanted to make this wrist piece out of the quarter inch EVA foam but I quickly realized that with my tiny little noodle wrists, the quarter inch EVA foam was just never going to bend quite drastically enough to fit around my wrist. So instead I went with three layers of the two millimeter craft foam. I had two of those layers extend all the way around the wrist. And then I had a third layer that was on either side of the log pose base. This was again to give that illusion of kind of embedding the base into the wristband. Then using the E6000 glue again, I glued together all the different pieces of the bracelet. I gave that another 24 hours to dry, and then we can go back to covering this with Warbla as well. So same as we did for the log pose base, I will be cutting out some Warbla. 
I will be applying heat to it so it becomes soft and malleable, and then I will be applying that to the wristband. But the cool thing about Warbla is it will also become very sticky and stick to itself. As needed, you can add smaller Warbla pieces to attach as well. I did add a few little pieces just to kind of strengthen that connection at the base of the log pose. I'm also heating the wristband and bending it. So I am bending this to about the shape of my little wrist and then holding it in place until it dries. So at this point, we can start painting our log pose. For a primer, I'm just using Mod Podge and I'm doing two layers of that just brushed on to our Warbla log pose. Next, I'm going to cover up the little areas for our orbs with masking tape, and then I can continue to paint this brown. I was really hoping I could get a bit more of a wood effect, but uh, let's say my painting skills leave something to be desired. So I did two layers of the brown paint as well. Then I could just pull off our masking tape, and those areas are all going to be painted blue. Once all that painting was done, I sealed everything up with another layer of Mod Podge. And our log pose is pretty much painted. But we also need to look at the orbs and more importantly, what is inside them. This log pose has three tiny little navigation arrows. And I decided I might as well make those as well. So while I was waiting for various layers of this paint to dry, I was also working on those arrows. So I'm taking a white two millimeter craft foam. I'm taping off half of our diamond for the navigational arrows and just painting the other half red. And I did two layers of the red as well. And now we get to the tricky part. Now I got a 10 pack of these little glass orbs and I definitely used quite a few for practice. So here I'm showing you a few of my uh, practice attempts. Some are better than others to be sure. So how I'm going to put these arrows in is I am taking this wire, but basically I'm going to cut off a quite long section of wire. I found that it was a bit easier to bend if I just had a lot to work with at the start and then trimmed it down later. So now I'm just going to bend a little loop-de-loop -loop at the very top of the wire and that will glue to the top of our glass orb. The little loop-de-loop -loop gives a bit more surface area for the glue to catch onto. Then I'm going to make a second loop-de-loop -loop, or even really just a little hook at the bottom and that will loop through our navigational arrows. Then once I have suitable loop-de-loops, I will just trim off all the excess. So I'm taking just the tiniest dab of glue and I'm putting this actually on a pin head for a sewing pin. And then very carefully, I will take tweezers and put the top of our navigational arrow into the orb and glue it down. Eventually, I got at least three of these that I was somewhat satisfied with. Now for attaching our orbs with the little arrows inside, I'm just going to take a bit more glue and put it on the very base of our orb and then that will just glue down to our log pose. Give this some time to dry and our log pose is finally ready. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like I can be honest with you guys. I think I could definitely do better with a second try. However, I also think this looks pretty darn good. You know, for what I had to work with, I think this is pretty good and it will certainly work for Khan. So I'm hoping you guys can watch this tutorial, take the things you like, throw out the things you didn't like, and make something really cool. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!